Hello, and welcome to ATP Report. I'm Barry Nussbaum. Back again today is my friend and brilliant scholar, Claire Lopez. Claire, who has gotten world attention with her overseas um, efforts for the United States with the CIA. She's back home now in America, writing, blogging, and appearing everywhere. Uh, welcome back, my expert on all things political, Claire Lopez. Thank you, Barry. Happy to be here with you. Let's talk about what we were chatting on the break about, which is what I consider one of your really unique perspectives, which is the wildly anarchist behavior of the last year or so in America that the uninformed would think has nothing to do with all the other anarchist behavior in America in the last year. You've got a theory that I want to hear about and our viewers do, which is it's coordinated. So Antifa, Black Lives Matter, these various groups that are out marching and burning and looting and creating chop zones. Your thought is that they are subtly behind the scenes coordinated. Explain. Yes, uh, absolutely they are. And, um, you know, this goes with the tip of the hat to such uh, fabulous citizen journalists like James O'Keefe at Veritas, who has brought some of this to light, and some of the online uh, bloggers, Ian Miles Chong for one, and Andy No for another. Um, but what they've shown us and, and what uh, they've pointed me in the direction of, which is to the actual uh, website sometimes of these groups where they're quite open about a lot of things you might not expect. You can find a lot by you know, being an online geek. Um, and so, for example, they have a name for how they come together. This is their term. They call it affinity groups, affinity groups. If you go to the Crime uh, Think website, for example, which is one of these affiliate uh, anarchist groups, they call affinity groups, quote, the essential building block of an anarchist organization. What this means is that this is a coalition of anarchists, revolutionaries, and that within that coalition are Antifa with all of its affiliated groups, Black Lives Matter movement with all of its affiliated groups, the Sunrise Movement, which goes as far as uh, the Democrat Party and currently serving federal officials of the United States government. And what we see from the films that, that these journalists have put out from the websites uh, these people train together, um, including online webinar training. No, um, let, me, let me stop you right there. Yeah. I've never heard this before. So you're saying that these groups that seemingly have the only thing in common is we hate America and then here's our agenda and we hate America and here's our agenda. Are you saying that they're actually coordinating openly and training each other together? Oh yeah. Now, I'm not gonna say that all their web training programs or conference calls are open to the public, but clever people like James O'Keefe um, have gotten inside of some of those and that's where we get the reporting from. And they put it out and make it public. But yes, they do train together. They call themselves affinity groups or a momentum community. That's another term. Uh, uh, which uh, itself, you can you can find that online. It's a training hub for Black Lives Matter movement, Dream Defenders, United We Dream, Showing Up for Racial Justice, National People's Action, all these groups, and many, many more. Um, so so they, where, will they, where will they fit in? Let's say Biden becomes president. We don't know that yet, contrary to what the news is announcing. We'll know in a month. Will these groups... Um, have a place in the Biden world? Not exactly, no. Um, they have helped to put uh, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris and their team where they are today on the, on, on the, on the verge of taking the White House and the US government. Um, but again, the Biden team are only useful fools. If we remember, warnings from such as 1972 KGB defector Yuri Vesmenov, 
who put out a number of videos. You can find them on YouTube in English. These are the people in a genuine communist revolution like Castro's revolution back in Cuba. These are the people that these groups think about, maybe even plan about lining up against a wall and shooting as soon as their usefulness is done. Because remember, the objective is not a Biden Kamala Harris presidency. It is a communist revolution in America that overturns the constitution and puts in its stead Marxism. So, so what happens? Um, you know, I always tend to think these things out maybe too far into the future, but if indeed there is a successful um, integration of these radicals into government, or at least in an advisory capacity, at some point they start eating each other mm -hmm. because they have different end goals in mind. For example, uh, the radical Islamists that are on the fringes of these groups that speak all the time, that have as their talking heads uh, the squad as an example, well, they want a caliphate and and they want Sharia. Uh, Black Lives Matter just wants America destroyed. Uh, Antifa, as best as I can figure out, wants to destroy everything and rebuild from the ground up um, as anarchists. At some point, they turn on each other, don't they? Yes, of course. The French Revolution is, is, is our uh, example for that. Um, and, and, and indeed, I mean, the, a, a Biden team, if, if they take uh, power, you know, could be in power for some number of years uh, and they'll make an attempt to pacify, to, uh, to um, mollify uh, the ravening anarchists at the door, but they won't be satisfied. No matter what uh, Biden and, and Harris do, it won't be enough. I mean, uh, it, it, it won't go far enough. It won't become Castro's Cuba overnight or Hugo Chavez, Nicolas Maduro's Venezuela overnight, Lenin and Stalin's Russia. It, it won't. They'll head in that direction generally, but the pace won't be fast enough. And, and so uh, they will turn on them. I mean, we can already see, as we, we mentioned in the last segment, you know, they're not satisfied. They haven't got a place at the table yet. Um, the agenda isn't being, uh, you know, implemented into the uh, forthcoming and planned well, Biden-Harris agenda yet. Yes, of course, they'll turn on one another. Um, and, not and talking that, about guillotines, but, you know, that's, that's where the French Revolution wound up. Yeah, and whether it's a literal uh, assassination or firing squad or just a figurative one politically, for some of these people being forced into the backwoods and out of power to them is the equivalent of political death. And my guess is there'll be mass purges, whether that means mass purges with graves or mass purges where you just go to go home and you're never heard from again. Uh, for some well, we of these can, people, it would be the same thing. We, we can listen, for example, to some of the uh, recent statements coming from uh, Alexandra Ocasio-Cortez um, uh, in the House of Representatives, um, who very openly says that the Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer leadership's got to go. Uh, and um, the more uh, leftist, communist, Marxist, now she's not saying this, but that's what she means, a wing of the party needs to supplant them. She's already saying this out loud. The old folks got to go. The new one's got to come in. And what's really scary to me, maybe more scary than anything we've said so far, is every member of the squad, no matter how dirty they are, no matter how many laws they break, no matter how many goofball schemes they propose, no matter how many people and groups they hate, they all won re-election dramatically. And none of those elections, Claire, was close. And no, that quick last note. Did I ever mention to you and, and, and the audience uh, where that term, the squad, comes from? I'm holding oh. up the little red book. This is the abbreviated selections from Chairman Mao. There's a whole section in here about what a squad is. 
A squad is a unit, a revolutionary unit that operates to implement and enforce the revolution. That's oh, what a squad is. My goodness. And they and they promote themselves as that right there. every day, Claire. Right there. But who has right read there. the little red book? Well, I have. Claire I've, Lopez has. Many other people have. <laughs> it's not a long section either. It's a short one, but it's in there. Thank you for sharing that. Tell our people where they can find out about you, please. Well, I uh, hope to have a website at some point, but for now, um, I publish uh, all my videos and my writing um, at the American Truth Project, at uh, the United West, at Sharia Crime Stoppers, um, at my blog site, I write uh, at Newsmax, um, and uh, I am a member of, and I post at the Citizens Commission on National Security, uh, I should mention Brandon House's World View Weekend, huge, huge audience at World View Weekend. And then of course, I'm on social media at Claire M. Lopez on Twitter and Parlay, and my name also uh, on Facebook. It's exhausting to hear where you work, let alone what you produce. Thanks for being with us today. And for those of you out there that haven't yet sent in the following text message. I want to admonish you to do that. Um, my new book is out because you asked and I'm gonna give you a free chapter or two if you send the letters B, Y, A and send it to the number 88202, push send. We will give you uh, a sample of the book. You can see if you like it and we'll get you a discounted copy if you wanna continue. We want you to sign up and we'll send it to you for free. For ATP Report, I'm Barry Newsbaum.